week, the Free Energy Special Interest Group, where science meets spirituality in the quest for truth and knowledge to free humanity and transform this planet into a paradise. Hi everyone. Hi, this is Crystal. Welcome to Physics 111th meeting. Today is the 5th of April and we have, uh, oh, 2023. <laughs> we have very special speakers today. As always, we have very special speakers, some of the world's best. And we are actually having a... Um, well, uh, uh, three three speakers here today. It's not just two. We have uh, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael as the first speaker. And if I would just share screen, you could see the agenda. Okay, you can see Physics is a Free Energy Special Interest Group. Um, I am the chair, Crystal Go, co-chair, Fresh Fressel, Dr. Fresh Fressel, Pontus Hefziger. And if James is here, that's good. Um, Fress is our R&D research and development teacher. He teaches the R&D teams. Um, he's been with me since day one, and so does James. And Pontus is the head of our research and development at Physic. So we have been inviting speakers from all over. Um, on uh, the technology side of things, as well as um, Ascension Disclosure Intel, as well as uh, technology on healing. So in this meeting, we have a lot to do with healing as well, uh, healing technologies too. Uh, our objective is to have this platform where science meets spirituality, where all can learn together from the experts, the, the brilliant, geniuses the inventors are that we strive together here on this platform to teach share their knowledge and um, and show us the way so we would be able to develop our own technologies as well uh, with the knowledge that we accumulate here and uh, uh, well excel in our divine mission so today's session is um the first speaker, the first session, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, whose lifelong award-winning work in applied integrative biophysics is going to be shown by her and presented uh, by her invention of the true bioscalar EE system. And then the second session, we're gonna have our returning speaker, Alfred Weber Lambermont, who hit the gong and say, it's, it's very urgent, Crystal. I need to share this information because uh, uh, the pathogenic AI will be wiping out the human species if we don't do anything about it. So he will be sharing with us the advanced AI that could uh, represent uh, a profound change in the history of life on Earth. It's an urgent call to save humanity from extinction. So that is very important. And then we have, uh, last but not least, our third speaker, Brian Besco, will be sharing his um, tensor technology, um, which was based on Slim Sperling's uh, devices, I guess. So there you go. If you want to contact me so that you can get on the database or you could the best thing is to go to our website, truevisionpeace.com forward slash physic.html and click on the join us button and you'll be put in the database and you only receive an email from me, from us on via MailChimp only once a month. So you could read about the reports of our past meeting and, and the invitation to attend the meeting. It's a public meeting once a month held on the first Wednesday of the month where we have some of the most awesome speakers. And do join our Telegram group, which is physic uh, underscore tel uh, group. Okay, so you can interact with each other and you can start study groups or just have our own study group here via physic. And, oh, well, you know, you can have discussion groups after each and every speaker has done their presentation um, apart from the Q&A live with them. 
So there you go. It's a very useful platform. You don't charge anything. You don't charge your subscription fee, no nothing, no fee. Okay, just join us and learn together. Right, so I want to introduce Dr. Sandra Michael Rose. She is the genius mind and heart behind the life enhancing EE system technology that has gone rather viral these days. As you have seen her everywhere with this technology being uh, interviewed in many, many platforms. Born to genius scientists who specialize in engineering physics. Dr. Sandra Rose Michael has taught holistic health for over four decades and invented the first effective scalar healing light chamber in 1978 in her Salon of Health. Dr. Michael's lifelong award-winning work in applied integrative biophysics has earned prestigious recognition worldwide. She has been invited to lecture at the United Nations, MIT, the World Health Summit, the Howard Club, London's Royal Society of Medicine, Mount Sinai, Sinai Medical School, and the Scalar Research Experts Conference, as well as numerous other medical schools and ministries of health. Knighted for her humanitarian service, Dame Dr. Michael has served on the board of the Global Foundation for Integrative Medicines and as a commissioner for the International Tribunal for Natural Justice. Dr. Michael works alongside NASA, Department of Defense, the Navy, and with other physicists on advanced radiation remediation, as well as several clean water projects. Dr. Michael is featured globally in a variety of books, newspapers, and journal articles, including a peer-reviewed study conducted by the University of Hawaii. Her true bioscalar EE system technology has been broadcasted widely on radio and television and can be seen featured on CNN, Fox News, and the doctors. Additionally, this technology received its own highlight within the full-length film titled The Grand Self. Her website is eesystem.com. It's all linked up. If you visit our website and read the reports and everything, and the announcement speakers, it all has links. Just hover the mouse over the speaker's name and it takes you to their website. Thank you. Welcome, Dr. Michael. Hey, thank you, Crystal, for that way too long intro. But, <laughs> but it, I have actually been teaching over 45 years, so it is a, a long history of, uh, uh, you know, as far as my work. So... I'm just hoping that share screen works now, but uh, and so that we can, uh, if if we can't get my uh, PowerPoint to behave, <laughs> we'll just do Q and A. Well, I'm sure there's enough people with enough questions that we can we can just talk uh, about. Uh, you know, of course, we invented technology for healing. It's all about how do we bring healing to the world, especially for this time that we are now in. Uh, because the, the original or the original intentionality of our technology was to activate the 12 strands of the DNA to bring the DNA to its highest potential. But even the initial research um, back in the 90s with this technology with NASA, the top geneticists found that it was repairing all the breaks in the DNA, all the genetic damage and lengthening telomeres. But it is specifically designed for this time and the hijacking of our God code, our DNA, it's designed for this time to be uh, putting the DNA back to its original divine design, original divine matrix, the original divine design, and assisting and supporting in that um, in that process in the body of, of reminding the DNA literally remembrance of who we are all that we're all that we're here for in our own divine design um you know in, in the god code you know because we are made in the image of god so it, it's that activation of the light within the core of the dna which is the truth of our being and the cells vibrate and resonate with the truth of who you know the the truth and that's what sets us free and that we are bodies and beings of infinite light 
with access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love as sons and daughters of God. And so that's what we created technology to, is that's to create the counterpoint to all the abuse of Tesla's work, all the scalar weaponry, uh, mind control. Somebody had to create the counterpoint and override it is what they told me, override it all with the higher power, which is the power of love. But we needed technology because we were going to be having so much technology used against used against humanity. You know, and that's what we're seeing. And now it's become pretty blatant in everybody's face. It was a little before it was a little bit more undercover. And now it's now it's blatant. So hopefully people are waking up and realizing it's shift. Oh, I don't mean planet. to interrupt you, uh, Dr. Michael. Are you? Are you sharing in a PowerPoint presentation? Because it's 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 so beautiful. I've seen it just now before <laughs> it starts. Right. And we'll try to share a screen. And if we could have some, we may need some, you know, help getting that to work again. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully it works. <laughs> okay. So did that pull up? Yes. Yep. Oh, Excellent. Hallelujah. Yes. That's good. Beautiful. Yes, and and this is what went viral. This, uh, you know, the uh, you know, you Jason Shuka was one of our speakers as well. In the oh, past. oh, yeah. good, good. Yeah, the revolution of healing. I mean, he showed up. At, you know, showed up here. I was doing a fundraiser for Scott McKay. That's how he originally heard about us. Mm -hmm. I was doing a fundraiser for Scott, and it turned out he was sent by TLS, the Light System. He was sent to interview me and was very insistent. He set up his cameras and said, we've got to do this interview. And uh, this revolution of healing uh, got pushed out on May 27th uh, of last year. So it was, and it was evidently TLS uh, made sure that it went out because initially when I, I was mentioning how I was originally asked to do this project, and originally, it was to go out mostly in private homes all over the world. And we were doing all the research, tons of research with Slim Sperling, for example, that you, we heard uh, Slim Sperling mentioned when you talked about Brian Besco. Um, but, uh, yeah, but we had all this research with the Tesla Society, with NASA, and you know, in, in our, our clinicals. So doing the research, doing the homework, laying the foundations, for this time, but it was good to go out primarily in private homes around the bed um, and like earth acupuncture, working with the, the grids within the planet and around the planet. But um, yeah, let's get that off of there. Um, working with the grids, laying the foundations and in private homes so it couldn't be stopped. And the word was always that when it's time for this to be out, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. And when it's time to be out, it's got to be everywhere fast. And it's just got to be everywhere fast. And that's what I was told over and over again. I didn't have a clue what that looked like. That was my discussion with TLS when I was asked to, when I was recognized as being a part of that in uh, 2011. That was part of the discussion. It was like that when this goes out, it's got to be everywhere fast. Well, so when this revolution of healing uh, interview was released, uh, we had 70,000 emails in a weekend and the, and God knows how many calls, but it was over 70,000 emails. So it shows the planet is ready and for that evolution, you know, accelerate evolution, which is what this is uh, designed for, to bring people into that time of, uh, you know, that we've been waiting for on this planet of new heaven, new earth. So let's see if we can get this to advance. I may need, ah, it's working. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, it, does it show the whole thing or is it, or is the, uh, yeah, it the, shows, it shows it on a big screen, just as, as best as you can get. Thank you. It works. Yeah, no, I just, I'm, I just wondered if that uh, captioning at the top is on yours or just mine. Um, yeah, because I'm not sure how to get rid of that. Anyway, 
Um, so Nikola Tesla's work, I grew up doing all of his science experiments as a child uh, because my parents were both top secret government scientists. And so I, I built Tesla coils, transducers, receivers, you know, m you know, magnets, rockets. I mean, you name it, I, you know, was <laughs> playing with it, building it. My mother, the nuclear physicist, and was fissioning plutonium in the lab, working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me. My dad worked on stealth bombers, Mach 3, et cetera. And I came in going, how, how do we heal all of this? How do we heal all of this? But I grew up with all of Tesla's. I was conceived at Niagara Falls where Tesla had his power plant. And um, so, you know, I've always been aware of Tesla's work. <laughs> so, but um, I, this is a book on, on Tesla that I, I recommend the most. And this, the author is Professor Mark Seifer, who did come to a workshop, and I didn't know he was in the workshop. And afterwards, he brought the book, and, and this is what he said to me and wrote in the book. He said, I, he, he blew my mind in over 100,000 ways, and I understood everything you were talking about, and just completely, and he was just uh, shaken. But, it, you know, but we do want to we do need to blow people's minds a little bit because we've got to open up to all the, you know, the, the suppressed science, but also, you know, genius means all the neurotransmitters and the right, left brain is whole brain thinking. And we've got to open people's minds up versus the programming that's gone on. And the dumbing down of Americans was absolutely the scariest part of this COVID thing. Um, so. We need to, you know, I like guess like, you know, it wasn't about I'm a genius. Yeah, I'm Mensa, et cetera. But uh, the thing is, how do we trigger the genius in everybody? You know, we need more intelligent, more informed, healthier choices. So that biography of a genius, we want everybody's genius to be triggered. And so, you know, the technology is designed to do that. And that's what we see. The enhanced uh, enhanced brain capabilities are are astounding. Anyway, um, so this is a field engine generator system. It's field engine generators that generate multiple bioactive fields. Its scalar is part of that, but it includes the Schumann resonance, so the grounding, the earthing, uh, the rainforest energies. These are your ideal optimal brain state frequencies as well. Uh, you know, and you've got the Scalar, which is the nonlinear, non-Hertzian, fifth-dimensional standing columnar waves or scalar fields, which are beyond relative time and space. Uh, so you've got that. But you also, I talked about the light, and that's one of the big things with the technology is the photonics. So we will talk a lot more about that because when the body has more energy, and you could consider this kind of like a whole body um, cellular voltage uh, enhancer, uh, you know, like, like you recharge your cell phone, but you're recharging every cell of the body, raising the millivoltage in the cells and the cell membrane potential. And when the body has the charge, it wants to discharge everything that does not belong. And so the first thing that the body wants to do when it has more energy is detox, 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 which is the big key because we're living in such a toxic soup. All, all the, all the toxins in the air, the food, the water, and all the, you know, where everybody is being bombarded with radiation, and the radiolytic isotopes are also heavy metals. So that's very, very important because I came in going you know, knowing radiation from the inside out and how do you, how do you mitigate or how do you transmute all the effects of radiation, all the radiolytic exposures, because everybody is dealing with radiation poisoning on the planet right now. It's what part of what we're dealing with. And so we've got to go from that all that radiation, which unzips the DNA to regeneration, re regenerative process versus degenerative process. So regeneration, um, where it repairs all that damage to the DNA, but it's also going to push out everything that does not belong. So you've got the, the DNA regeneration, the nerve cell regeneration, all that kind of thing. So everything wants to repair because when the body has the right energy, 
it wants to heal and function perfectly. So how do you give the body the right energetic environment, a hyper healthy energetic environment that where the body is totally supported in its optimal states of function? So high functionality, this is true functional medicine, but high functionality, how do we give the body the energy, the information, the light, uh, the right combination of light and energy that allows totally optimal radiant health we you know go from radiation to totally radiant our radiant self as far as our, our radiant light being state so radiant health it's intentional resonance fields dense intentional informational fields that uh, and part of scalar is superconductivity we have all the science to prove the the superconductivity uh, in the body with the DNA, that's your cellular communication, cell signaling, etc. Hydration and oxygenation, most of dis-ease and aging is from acute chronic dehydration. And we're created uh, something because of the effects of the hydrobifurcation, because of the fusion aspects, I'll talk more about this, uh, it releases the act of oxygen. So you've got like your ultimate oxygen therapy. And then the balancing of the pH, your hydrogen potential, because of the act of hydrogen being released, which is your ultimate antioxidant as well. And uh, uh, hydrogen is your fuel for the cells. It's the fuel for the mitochondria, et cetera. Uh, but balancing the pH, that uh, helps balance the blood sugar, antidepressant effects. That's some of Glenn Ryan's research. Super learning states, like I said, the, we want to trigger the genius uh, we've seen reversals of ADHD, autism, Alzheimer's, et cetera, as far as in that optimization of brain function and induced meditational states, ideal optimal meditational states. Now, I have this picture of Dr. Bob Del Montique at 86 years old. How do you want to be at 86? Start. Let, we need to make new pictures of what aging looks like. Uh, and and hyper healthy aging. So part of that is Dr. Bob Del Monte was a friend, but he was taught to meditate. Back to that meditational importance, the meditational states. He was taught to meditate by Tibetan monks. And our research with the top brain researcher out of out of uh, the Pentagon, John Orva, found that you could, uh, our technology was supporting people to go into a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in seven minutes. So your ideal optimal meditational brain states, uh, and then going to the deep delta and theta states where everything can heal, repair, regenerate. So he had been taught to meditate for over 50 years. He'd been a meditator taught by the Tibetan monks. And that's part of how he created that body. But then you also want to use those super, super learning states when you have more energy, you want to make more intelligent, more informed choices. And you don't want to put anything into your body, whether it's the programming from television or the programming of what food looks like, or, you know, we've got to quit paying to poison ourselves. Don't put anything into your body that doesn't create your ideal body. You cannot expect to be super healthy and have your ideal body at 86 or whatever age if you're still paying to poison yourself. And that's what's fed this whole uh, programming of these companies that have been adding all the toxins to everything. We've got to quit. <laughs> Every dollar is a vote. Quit voting for these uh, companies that are poisoning the planet and, and creating disease. So you want to enhance that neurotransfer velocity. That's your brain's capacity to process information. Uh, and so, yeah, super learning states, enhanced brain. And, and of course, I did mention John Orva. He was uh, um, considered, I mean, hyper genius. He, I had every, oh, you know, I had every kind of quack buster sent in to figure out what we were doing. And so I want to talk about the photonic aspect. So John Orva was sent to meet me, brought to meet me, and he brought a $100,000 oscilloscope, a very specialized oscilloscope into a four unit system. He was brought to meet me in Florida and he had, he had been the head of 
of a part of Skunk Works, Phantom Works, Black Hole, et cetera. He's considered the top scientist at the Pentagon, a um, top brain researcher, uh, president of the Biophysics Physicist Research Foundation, but pattern energy consultant for the Pentagon, DOD, NASA, et cetera. Hyper genius man, brought this oscilloscope. And there was a video done, and he's explaining what he's seeing and what it means in our technology. So part of that was a total transmutation of all 60 cycle EMF, VLF, any and all detrimental or destructive, destructuring energy, a total transmutation into beneficial energy patterns. Uh, we talk about a collision of photons like CERN or Fermi Labs, where we're colliding photons as well. And not just colliding photons, we're at the intersection of the fields, it's creating something called photonic fusion. So it's actually a cold nuclear fusion event, which is why NASA showed up at my door when this was turned on in um, 1996, when we started this. And so I now work with the, the, <laughs> the, the uh, another hyper genius government scientist who was sent in, uh, who was signed off on... Uh, on all the Senate subcommittee because it, the technology created such a powerful um, cold nuclear fusion type event that it looked like the signature of a nuclear sub on land and put the whole country on DEFCON alert. And he signed off on all the Senate subcommittee stuff. And he's the one that sent NASA to our door. But I do want to mention him because we are working closely with him now on the advanced water remediation projects and, and radiation remediation projects. And when we're just starting to do uh, labs and things with him. So photonic fusion um, <laughs> is a very powerful thing. Uh, production of new forms of beneficial energy sweeping an entire spectrum. People go, well, what frequency is it? Well, there's predominances of the um, Schumann resonance because that's the natural timing pulse of the body, the grounding energies. Um, John Orva also talked about there's the bone healing um, you know, frequencies, the bone regeneration frequencies in here. But it's, it's sweeping an entire spectrum. And, and so it's, you know, it is a torsion field effect. And he said, it, look, it looks like magic, but it's really amazing physics at a very high level of application. I'd recommend people go to the research page at eesystem.com and, and read the um, transcript of his video, because what was unique about this, usually we had the, the spook scientists sent in and nobody recorded it, or, you know, or what, it wasn't recorded for whatever reason, or they wouldn't allow it to be recorded. But this was recorded, and it went out on YouTube. And then, you know, and, and then he got a call from the head of the Pentagon going, what are you doing on YouTube? And he called me to tell me all about it. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. But I'd recommend everybody really watch that and kind of watch his face and what he's saying about the technology and how it's, and because he's explaining what he's seeing, what it means, and how it works. So it, I hope we can. Um, and part of this is that neutralization, that transmutation, but that nullification of harmful EMF and ELF radiation microwave and electrosmog, electropollution effects. Uh, when the body has a charge, it wants to discharge. So it creates a discharge of the heavy metals. So, you know, heavy metal detox. Again, the detox is one of the prime benefits. We got to get the heavy metals, including the radiolytic isotopes, out of people's bodies. And of course, now we're dealing with the graphene oxide as well, the luciferase, the hydras, uh, you know. Um, all these other things that that are also uh, in endemic now in our environment. And so how do we get all that out effectively and efficiently? Okay, so I mentioned intentional resonance fields. The cells vibrate and resonate with the power of truth. And it is truth that sets us free. And the truth of our being is we are light. We are, we have access to unconditional love, infinite 
infinite power, infinite intelligence, infinite love, should we choose to accept it and access it? This is like sharing the access codes or putting it in easy access transdimensionally to remind us of who we are, all that we are, all that we're here for, and all that we have access to. If we have access to the infinite intelligence, how about if we ask and can receive and just receive all the information of anything and everything we need to know to fulfill all of our highest purposes. So this is spiritual science, uh, very applied integrative spiritual science uh, with superconductive, coherent, cohesive, biocompatible informational fields. The coherence is very, very important because again, that's part of the superconductivity, but coherence is that state where there's no impedance. Very, very important that we have coherence through our whole bodies, our whole beings, so that everything stays in absolute total integrity. And, and so coherence, uh, very important. Superluminal velocity, that's up beyond the speed of light. Moves up, scalar moves at 1.4 times the speed of light. Uh, dynamic homeostasis, one of the aspects of scalar and this is cumulative, is the body, the law of the body wants to be in balance, wants to be in homeostasis. Dynamic homeostasis is cumulative reorganization to higher levels of function. So every time somebody accesses the fields, you know, they wear the medallions, it's, you know, which are high, the high tech and the low tech model, um, reaccessing the fields, it's a cumulative and the body takes the energy and reorganizes into greater coherence and higher levels of function. You can never have too much good energy. You can never be too highly functional. And so we want high functionality on this planet now, please. Uh, so scalar, a, a simple understanding is understanding of Mobius. The easiest way to understand scalar is that infinity wave you know, like the figure eight, that's your Mobius, but a Mobius coil. And a Mobius does create, you know, um, it's a carrier wave. So you've got your informational substructures uh, creating a scalar phase, uh, scalar fields, but it creates an EM zero field, which is very, very important to know and understand. So California Edison Electric Company was brought in and did a field survey with all the latest, greatest meters, et cetera. And this is, we had done this earlier with the Tesla Society out of Colorado Springs, and they found a total absence at a total zero radiation and things like that, and a total transmutation of fields back then. But this is California Edison Electric Company, totally independent. Uh, somebody, you know, again, wanted to know what our technology was really doing and what we were talking about and brought in, you know, um, California Edison Electric Company. And they did this survey with, um, and they found with a microwave tower in sight, there was no, no microwave detrimental field effect uh, and, and use radio frequency meters and, and different things like that. Let's see. And they also found at the base of the power transformer, five and a half acres away, you know, there's a null zone, EM null zone, or neutralization of detrimental fields, creating coherence. The scalar fields and this null zone effect goes out approximately, minimally, what's been measured over and over, minimally, 2.2 miles every direction. Okay, the photons don't go through the walls, but the scalar and that EM null zone effect goes out, creating a nullification of detrimental destructive fields into coherence. You saw on that, that flat line what, where, what would have been a, a 60 cycle. It just flatlined into a true zero point energy, that collapse of detrimental fields into a, a, a zero point energy and out 2.2 miles. So even at the base of the power transformer was read, you know, read to be 0, 0.0. And we want to transform the power grid. We want everything to work better because it's greater coherence, it's informational fields, it's carrier waves, can carry all the information. But rather than it being controlled by the love of power, we want to transform that to the power of love, override it with that higher power, the power of love that can work even better.
<laughs> then, then, and, and let's use everything to a total transmutation of energy to create beneficial energy for humanity, for the planet. It's like using Tesla's work to do like earth acupuncture, working with the grids within the planet, around the planet, uh, to create, you know, to override all these destructive technologies. That um, and so that's your 60 cycle on the left, because everything is either your your transfers, so your, your standard waves, light, sound, etc. transfers, but these are scalar longitudinal waves, longitudinal fields, that's another name for it, but also it's created by phase replicant wave pairs or phase conjugate, conjugate wave pairs. So we've got an intersection of fields where that, like, it's like a conjugal re relationship where it creates an implosion and a release of charge. So implosion or release of, of charge at the intersection of the fields. Uh, and that's your, what I call it, that's your cold fusion or that photonic fusion aspect as we're, we're colliding photons. Um, uh, so very different than Hertzian. These are non-Hertzian, non-Hertzian, non non-linear phase conjugate wave pairs. But it looks like an infinitely projected Mobius pattern on an axis. I did work with uh, Professor Constantine Mile. This uh, diagram on the right is from his book, one of my favorite books on, um, on cell resonance and DNA. Um, but I like this because you can see the rotation on the axis and you can see how this would um, relate to the DNA, these, these scalar the scalar generation. So this is your scalar vortex and they're standing torsion fields, your tube torus, that's your donut shape, which is why we use the donut shape. But that also relates to the DNA, but your chakras are all that toroidal energy pan pattern at zero point or standing wave pattern. It's an infinitely projected Mobius. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> So you see the chakras are that scalar vortex. So it reminds the body how to ha have all the chakras in that perfect wave pattern. Uh, so again, you know, pattern recognition. The breath of the universe is called the secret of the universe in Thrive. They called it, uh, you know, the, this, you know, they, they show the scalar vortex as a secret of the universe and thrive, which is a great movie, but it's this tube Taurus. It's the golden mean, um, you know, there's Fibonacci sequences. I intentionally incorporated Fibonacci sequences because that's your cellular replication patterns. And that's what activates and mobilizes the body's own stem cells. So a lot of the results we see, we would only see if we're having a major activation of the body's own stem cells because that is the natural healing of the body. But that's our cellular replication patterns. And it's very, very important uh, how that works. Um, so, you know, we'll just flow through some of this. Okay, so how that's applied, again, this is applied integrated biophysics, how that applies to the body. This relates to some of the work I did with Slim Sperling and Bob Dratch, because they found that their technology was, you know, was creating such a field that the body was trying to balance all the chakras in the first 60 seconds. It's reminding the body that quickly, you know, even because scalar moves at 1.4 times the speed of light, was reminding the body that quickly. But this is real-time aura imaging that also showed the balancing of the chakras. And this was before and after one hour. Because uh, the body wants to be in that state of dynamic homeostasis. So true bioscalar energy is field-like, not wave-like. But part of this, it implants its signature. So we can embed the signature of the scalar into medallions. And that's what you see on the left. And, and one of the unique factors of the scalar is beyond relative time and space, but it's self-repairing, self-regenerating, self-replicating fields. So it can regenerate and repair the fields indefinitely. Some of the research I did initially was with charging a product. We did thousands of products. I'll show you some of the um, curlian on that. But I would put it through, <laughs> because I'm here to heal the world, so I've been flying all over. I've been all over it forever. 
So I have about 5 million air miles. But I would put things through the, the, the um, radiation, you know, through the TSA. And, and it would knock the fields temp temporarily down when we put charged product through, temporarily knock it down and immediately went back into self-repair, self-regenerative. And, and, and all a thousand percent of the time is as great a charge or greater. Uh, scalar is capable of imprinting, so that's that embedding within the DNA. And then the original research with NASA and, and the top geneticist at, at Baylor University was they found the effects on the DNA that it was repairing all the breaks and damage in the DNA and lengthening the telomeres. So true age reversal, we need regeneration versus the diseases are all degenerative process. We want to flip that epigenetic expression. So Dr. Glenn Rhine, uh, Stanford Harvard biophysicist, probably many of you have heard of him. He did um, he did DNA research in the labs with our medallions. You know the EE medallions. They're designed to maintain the integrity of the DNA, maintain the integrity of the red blood cells so that you stay strong no matter what you're exposed to. You wanna maintain the integrity, again, maintain coherence. So you stay strong no matter what you're exposed to because the real principle is as we radiate light, nothing that is not of the light can affect us. So we need to remind the body by that activation of the light within the core of our own DNA that we are those beings, those infinite powerful beings of light, sons and daughters of God. And as we radiate our light, we're no longer victims. We're no longer at effect of anything outside ourselves. But this research was just testing the DNA in, in the lab and found it increased the electrical conductivity of the DNA itself by 28%. So and that's just the medallion. All life is energy. The power that made the body heals the body. That's back to straight chiropractic principle, which I started in chiropractic back in 1971. So it, I'm kind of grounded in that principle. But when your body has the right energy, when it has the, when we're charged up with the right energy, the body wants to heal anything and everything, essentially. But I do highly recommend this book by John Barron, Lessons from the Miracle Doctors. And chapter 17, it's all about energy, presented John Barron's research with our bioscalar technology. You can also pull up uh, scalar at johnbarron.org if you'd like to. Uh, so this is from some of that initial research. Uh, and this is and this is before and after Curlian done in a million dollar Curlian lab with another aerospace engineer. Well, your cell phone gets recharged. Now we need to, how do we recharge every cell of our bodies? And basically as quickly and easily as we recharge our cell phone, but it's wireless transmission because nothing touches the body. It's just a hyper healthy energetic environment with that release of charge and bioactive energy it means the body relates to the energy, grabs the energy, as you see also in this picture of a, a product and how uh, and how a natural substance of, and products will grab the energy and radiate that light. You see the photonic emissions in the second one. This is this is what we we tested about uh, more than a thousand things this way. And so, what what supplement do you think is going to work more effectively for your body? It is the enhanced supplements. So that's also why we uh, work with a company called Clarity C L A R eight. TY and calibrate and everything stands for that. The eight stands for that scalar enhancement because your hypercharged products are going to bring deliver that charge through every cell of your body because healthy cells are meant to be at the millivoltage of a negative uh, 70 to 90 millivolts when healthy. Disease and aging occurs when the cellular energy falls below that range and cancer develops at between 15 and 20 millivolts. In other words, cancer cannot exist in the body till the millivoltage of the cells is below 20 because uh, it's been taking all our energy coping with uh, you know, uh, you know, this is coping with a detrimental, hazardous, unhealthy environment. Uh, you know, so it's been taking all our energy, coping with all the toxicity 
uh, smoking toxins in the air, the food, the water, everything, taking all our energy, just coping with a hostile environment. So when you put the body back into balance, the body can access you know, that tachyon energy or the power of the universe and recharge, reboot, re, and re-accelerate the evolutionary process in the cells and increase that voltage, that cell membrane protection potential. I did work into, with another physicist, did research with Panos Papas, who invented the Papimi, and, and um, was researching that, uh, creating that charge for the cells with the Papimi, but it didn't maintain like scalar does. Scalar is self-repairing, self-regenerating, keeps on going. But uh, he also proved to the scientific community that what occurs in the cells is actually cold fusion. So that's part of the significance of our technology in creating that cold fusion type event that reminds the body of the cold fusion um, uh, activity that is actually in our own cells. So again, this is before and after photonic emissions from enhanced product, and it's going to activate that charge in the body. Okay, so one of our doctors with a pain clinic did a 130 case study with something called the acugraph, which could show the millivoltage in all the meridians in the body. It was a pain clinic, it said every one of the 130 patients, the study is actually on our website as well, or parts of it is. Everyone saw subjective complaint improvements, of course, pain relief, first thing that was uh, observed, but many other improvements in function. So raises cellular energy, which he proved in his 130 cases. And I'm going to give you an example of an acugraph analysis. And this is called the pie chart in the acugraph. And the red on the, the left, the pie chart on the left, where it says 21 in the middle, that represents the, the millivoltage of that body. The cellular millivoltage, you know, kind of the averaging out. Uh, between but in the, the lungs, the small intestines, the large intestines with the red, that's inflammation, too much energy. The body is compensating because it's in survival mode, you know, in fright, flight, or fight. And, you know, in survival mode where the body is taking its all, all its energy to cope with the what's creating the inflammation. So, you know, so then the violet is too little of energy, not enough energy to all the other meridians because the body is in survival and trying to cope with, with it. So it's a millivoltage is at 21. So this is after one hour, and this research was done by Professor Tom Loeb, another um, professor of medicine, um, before and after one hour. After one hour with the pie chart, you see the, the voltage has gone to 80, we're meant to be at 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. So it's raised the millivoltage up to 80, and you see the balancing out of every one of the um, of the meridians in the body. Now, acugraph is typically used by acupuncturists, and so this is like the effects of your ideal optimal acupuncture treatment on every meridian simultaneously. Well, we're creating coherent light, which is also lasers, coherent light. So this is like laser light acupuncture, <laughs> doing the whole body simultaneously and the scalar carrying it, you know, as an informational field into the body and into the cell. So, so this is just picking up and holding a charged product. For example, if I pick up and hold a medallion or pop a medallion, this is another um, form of curlian off a thumbprint, but you see how the body immediately relates to that energy and is grabbing the energy. And you see the increase in the photonic emissions. So it's giving body the energy to heal itself. I love Dr. Fritz Albert Pop's work that we are beings of light. Prime function of DNA is the storage of photons. That's our quantums of light. Uh, disease is caused by loss of photons. Carcinogens scramble the light. You know, you could call that a disturbance in the force. My technology is kind of like Star Trek, Star Wars, and the Matrix got together and had a baby. Uh, so there's a disturbance in the force. May the force be with us, and we're being aligned by the light, with the light, and as the light, and the highest powers of love here on earth as it is in heaven through us now, creating coherence. Healing is accomplished by, and by that photo repair, activation of the light within our very DNA, within the core of our DNA. And so that 
activation allows the hydrogen atoms to repair all the covalent hydrogen bonds of the DNA. Okay, so this is, you know, people always want to ask how long does the charge last? Well, infinity of waves lasts a long time beyond relative time and space. These are self-repairing, self-regenerating, self-perpetuating. 1,000% of the time, unequivocally, we saw, you know, the before and afters, this, the product sat around the lab for two weeks and they did another picture. And you see 100% of the time, you see as great a charge or greater. And we've tested things 10 years later. We've tested things 15. It, the photonic charge and the scalar charge continues indefinitely. Um, so, you know, we have water that's been tested for, you know, the sample in a, in a certified lab by another physicist. It's tested it 15 years later. It's still a 20% increase in the electrical conductivity of, of the water and the 20% reduction in the uh, surface tension of that water. And it's maintained it with the samples. Okay, so biophotonic scalar energy. <laughs> okay, regenerate, repair itself indefinitely, capable of imprinting within the DNA, repair the DNA length and telomeres. We talked about repair of the covalent hydrogen bonds, activate the body's own stem cells. The results that we're seeing are miraculous. You would not have the blind seeing, the lame walking, the deaf hearing if it wasn't activating the body's own stem cells. Increased mitochondrial activity. When I lectured for the Royal Society of Medicine, we had uh, uh, electro-interstitial scanning research done. We did a pilot study with nine people, and we found after one hour in an eight-unit system at the time, one every single person of those nine people showed quadrupled mitochondrial activity in just one hour. Well, the mitochondria are your power plants of the cells, your ATP production, et cetera. That's your, that's your energy production in the body. Increased mitochondrial activity also ex explains the, uh, the um, enhanced neuro function uh, that, uh, you know, that we're seeing, the nerve cell regeneration. And I mentioned about the reduced surface tension of water. Of course, the body is mostly water. So when you reduce the surface tension of water, it's restructuring the water. It's making it super conductive. It's carrying the charge in the water. It's carrying information. It's... Uh, but it, with that reduction of surface tension, makes it wetter, makes it super hydrating. And so that's very, very significant as well. So we've done a lot of testing with water with, uh, with like I said, the other uh, physicists that, and also Glenn Rhine. Uh, yeah, Jack Schulman was another one who tested water. And this was some of his, he was, he was a, a top Pentagon um, physicist, consultant, DOD, computer scientist. And this is what he found. It was some forms of interdimensional or high superscalar energy being generated. Entire life force would be, see improvement. The permeability increase for water surface tension decrease. It makes your nutrients, food, uh, more absorption. You're enhancing your cellular absorption rates. Hydrologist testing that he did showed <laughs> that the effects that we're seeing is mostly because of the effects on the hydrogen atom. And he saw the positive characteristics of heavy hydrogen. And we demonstrate that with uh, some of our testing where you can take water or wine and hold a medallion or a bracelet to it or hold it up in, in an EE system of the technology. When you hold it up, you'll actually feel it get heavier as it's, as it's creating that heavy hydrogen type effect. And I'll take a drink of that. Uh, he did spectrography and found the energy covalent level of each and every hydrogen atom was increased. And you see the regenerative capabilities of healing. So you know, I mentioned Glenn Ryan's research. This was, it, it is 26 to 28% increase in electrical conductivity of the water. So I mentioned that, we'll skip through that. 
So, but that's having that effect through the whole body. And then also you want to drink a lot of water because the body is trying to detox and you want to flush those toxins by having a lot of water. Clinical hydration is a gallon of water a day, but we recommend you charge your water to make it that much more absorbable and effective for you. And it's easy to do with the medallions or the bracelets, which are very handy. And you can do the same thing. I'll demonstrate Hold, hold it to a glass of water, a cup of water, set it on it, pop it over the, the top of a water bottle, and you'll have restructured water. You feel the change in about 45 seconds. You'll actually be able to detect the changes yourself. It, it moves fast for about 45 seconds to charge your water. Okay. Um, so bioelectography, this is Konstantin Rokkov's work. Um, it was called the GDV gas discharge visualization. It's now, now he calls the bio well. Bio-well.com is what I recommend you see to relate to this. But uh, the research, uh, they've never seen anything that improved the human energy field as rapidly as our technology. And uh, Dr. Sabina Davida out of Toronto presented her research with our technology in Russia with Professor Konstantin Karakov. Uh, and, and saw this tremendous improvements in the human energy fields. They'd never seen anything that improved at that rapidly. And so great research. Some of that you'll find on our website with uh, papers written by Dr. Sabina DeVita. Okay, uh, this is a, a different case because it shows the charge and the release of head trauma. Uh, so you, you you have the before, and this gentleman went, okay, this is a before done of his GDV, his bioelectography, uh, and, and then he was in our technology at Dr. Sabina DeVita's in, in her clinic in Toronto, and he thought it looked like a bunch of broken computers, didn't feel anything, thought it was bogus. Uh, it was There is a disturbance. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, we can dance, to... I suppose. Yeah. No. Sorry about that. I think that we have been hacked again. <laughs> but it's there's nice a music. troll. Yeah, there's a troll in here. <laughs> At least it's a nice music I have troll. To... Uh, I'm sorry, those of you who are not showing your name, I'll have to remove you. have to consistently remove just numbers only yeah oh well somebody's removed okay <laughs> yeah. thank you. at least it was nice music I found it. So, we can dance you yeah. found it press thank you well done <laughs> you know it is a, a you know this infinity wave is also called the dance of life <laughs> or the dance of the dna so that reminded me to talk about that i wouldn't have talked about that the dance of the dna the dance of life um, and the dance of creation. It's this infinity wave of breathing all the love, all God's love, all God's light, all God's power right into our hearts. And it flows out infinitely to touch the hearts of all beings with more love. And that's that wave of love from our hearts. And, and it's the aloha, that oneness with that breath and the love of all life that we share. And that's what we're here to share with is that aloha spirit but when you when you're keeping the love you're letting go of everything else aloha that ha you're going to breathe in all the light all the love ha and it's a letting go of everything that no longer serves our greatest light force life force energy this is literally our light force energy our life force and you're, it's that letting go of everything that no longer serves so that's what you're seeing here he left he walked out of the room and goes it's this gentleman goes it's gone what's gone uh, dr charles did you lose your wallet he goes no the ringing in my ears my tinnitus is gone they went back and re-imaged him, and this showed the release of the head trauma. He had been mugged as a teenager on, on his way to school. He'd been mugged as a teenager, and they had stolen his wallet. So Dr. DeVita asked him the first thing, the information in the field was, did you lose your wallet? They had stolen his wallet. They'd hit him upside the head with uh, brass knuckles. And so this showed the release of the head trauma. He was now 78 no, yeah, no, he was 68 years old, 68 years old. 
this was a head trauma from, from when he was a teenager, and it showed the release of that. So that's why we see so much tremendous benefits with our traumatic brain injury people, with uh, our veterans and things like that. But the reality is every time that the body has more energy, it's going to discharge or release whatever else doesn't belong that it can let go of. And so you'll see different kinds of toxic waste dump of, you know, um, my ex, my late husband, who was the head of uh, technology for Lockheed Martin, had worked in a hydraulics factory. So one time all the hydraulics fluid was coming out through every pore, or, or he'd had tremendous exposures in, in Agent Orange. And so sometimes there was globs of orange in the toilet. And sometimes it was globs of fluorescent green. Um, so the body where it had the energy to finally dump the things that the body had held on to and stored to protect you from it. And so the body can safely, effectively in a healthy way, release whatever does not belong. And that's why the detox bath is also so important as the body is discharging what doesn't belong. The body will be trying to push toxins out of every nook and cranny it can get it out of. So the most important thing to do is the detox bath. That's two cups of salt, minimally two cups of salt, a pound of salt in the tub. Uh, I'm also recommending the bath for radiation, two cups salt, two cups baking soda. That's the bath for pulling radiation. And I'm recommending people add one cup of borax to that. Uh, nothing does what a bath does because the skin is the largest organ of elimination. The largest organ of elimination. The body's trying to be trying to push the toxins out of every nook and cranny. You do a hot bath. That's your hyperthermia. It's going to raise up your immune function, but open up the pores, open up the capillaries, and the salt will pull the toxins and the acidity in the tissues out like a magnet. Very, very important. I'm adding the boron now because we're, we're actually seeing the luciferase released in the tub when you take a black light to it, and you can see it moving. Very, very important for this time. You can see all kinds of things released in the bomb. I mean, so it's the world's fastest, easiest detox is, and that also works with the charge in the body at the same time. The, the, the toxins are a positive charge, the salt's a negative charge, and this is not Epsom salt, it is sea salt or real salt or, you know, so you want that salt to pull like a magnet because that's the negative charge and the toxins are a positive charge. And so, and that's your third kidney. So that'll take the stress off the kidneys. One of our people that a doctor shared how after their, um, you know, the, uh, their jab damage, they had total kidney failure, a lot of neurological damage. After getting in the tub, after doing one hour in a 24 unit system from total kidney failure, she had a seven point increase in kidney function. So your, nothing does what a bath does. Your skin is your third kidney. You want to take all the stress off the kidneys and support the body in detox. So really want to, could not stress that enough. Uh, this is the charge in the brain. This is EEG studies that we did when I was presenting with the top scientists in Korea. And this is the effect on, on, brain, on the brain voltage with the EEG you see after 10 minutes this enhanced brain voltage. We did a lot of other EEG studies with Dr. Nancy White uh, and the amount of brain normalization is astounding, um, but it's like rebooting the body, rebooting all the brain cells. So of course that's gonna improve the psychology. So this is a personality orientation inventory study that was done with 36 people. And they found statistically, high statistical significance, 95 people out of 100 would experience being more present, more inner driven, um, more inner driven rather than reacting. They could respond appropriately to the previous stressors rather than being stressed out. You have the energy to respond to stressors appropriately, being able to authentically react, being more loving towards themselves and others. Um, so that's your because people ask, well, what about your psychology? You can't just heal the body. Well, behind the toxins in the body is the toxic emotional stuff. So that's your emotional detox. And everything is really a spiritual issue. It's where we've forgotten our total connection to God. 
So this is digital thermal imaging, thermography before and after. And so this was after two sessions in an eight unit system in Sedona and the labs. Uh, so on the left, you see um, the red and orange is, is inflammation. This gentleman is having acute chronic migraines. You see the sinusitis, the hot, hot spots in the sinuses, the white spots there. That's your hot spots, acute chronic migraine, sinusitis, and, and this and he was a smoker. So after the two sessions, two hours each, you, you see the second one where you see a surprising amount of, of brain healing, never another migraine, never another headache. He's still smoking, so you still see some inflammation in his throat. But look at the improvements. Well, the technology is doing this through the whole body. So that, and, and inflammation is what's behind all disease, aging, and acute chronic pain, et cetera. So you're going to reduce the inflammation through the whole body. But this is going to be, this is why we have enhanced brain function. That's why we see such dramatic, dramatic improvements in children with autism, in ADHD, uh, learning disabilities, but also Alzheimer's, dementia, et cetera, because it's all based on brain inflammation. Uh, but also have that total regeneration of organs and, and uh, joints and all kinds of things. How, how are we okay time-wise? How are we doing? Um, it's so interesting to see all these testimonies <laughs> that uh, I think uh, Alfred and uh, Brian, are you here? Is it all right if we take a few more minutes? Yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's fine by, by me. Okay. okay. Brian, are you here? Yes. Brian Besto? No? Brian, okay. okay. Well, hello to Brian, wherever he is. He's great. <laughs> I love his work. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll try to skip through the rest and uh, yeah. try to, you know, uh, the, the, this thermography, you know, what you saw with the brain on the last one was eight units. Well, eight's about 10 times better than the four. This is in a four unit system. It's before and after just two hours, but the gentleman had total paralysis. And after two hours, he had total paralysis of his hand, his dominant hand, couldn't do anything with it for a year, went in and he was going like this with his hand and crying, and he didn't need his walker after one time in, second time in, he could stand on his leg that was paralyzed, third time in, he could jump on it, the wife thanked me for giving her husband back, uh, it was diagnosed as Parkinson's, we've seen all kinds of results, um, <laughs> In my, and we, we can't make any claims, of course. The power that made the body heals the body. Our technology is just giving the body the energy. Um, and of course, we don't want to construe this as any medical claims because that would, of course, be illegal. So, but the body wants to heal. And I'm just showing some of the mechanisms of action here um, because, and this woman was diagnosed with bronchitis uh, went to her doctor. She went in the eight unit, this back to the eight unit. In one hour, the doctor found no trace of bronchitis after one hour. But you see how the body has grabbed the energy and it's going to try to push the toxins or the congestion from the lungs and bronchioles out, going to try to cough that out, move it out through, through uh, the throat, but also through the lymphatic system. That's why the baths are so important and through the organs of elimination. So with the technology, you also wanna make sure the bowels are moving and so you can let that shift go. Uh, but that was um, a case of, of bronchitis. This gentleman was a, a friend of mine and this, was, um, this is a picture of him I think it was 15 years after he was released from, um, he, he had been diagnosed with mesothelioma. He was a race car driver, mesothelioma. That was the lung cancer from asbestos and fiberglass. He'd already lost five of his best friends and his younger brother to mesothelioma. Uh, and this is the University of Hawaii Med School. He went there with Dr. Shintani. I said, get him in there because it helps regenerate scar tissue. Well, mesothelioma is scar tissue of the mesothelium, so it regenerated the scar tissue. But it was also, he was on oxygen. He was in respiratory failure. They'd given him a very, you know, while well, he was in respiratory failure, they'd sent him home to die. Uh, he went back to Hawaii, but he ended up with in Dr. Shintani's. And two months later, he was back to work. He was off the, the, the oxygen in less than a month. 
uh, in an eight unit system at University of Hawaii Medical School. And when he was tested later, there was no trace of mesothelioma, et cetera. So this is him at uh, is in his seventies here. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good for being dead for 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, this, and then this is a simple, simple installation on Kauai, a friend of his. And so he's had multiple other cases of mesothelioma. Also had a, a woman with stage four pancreatic cancer. This is Harvey on Kauai. Um, but you would see a very simple Hawaii style system versus what you saw at the beginning was a, a 16 unit system that this was in the revolution of healing in that with that that photo at the beginning that was a Tony Robbins system in his home we'll show you some of the other but anyway simple installation precisely aligned for that intersection of the fields but he had somebody with stage four pancreatic cancer uh 100% reversal which is which the oncologist said he'd never ever seen anything like that before so mm -hmm. lots of great results um Okay, so hematologist, 100% improvement in the blood in 100% of the cases. And she did a study on you know, motor neuron disease and ALS. So ALS, uh, you know, part of the significance is uh, the, the blood. The, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that. But, but this is your clogged, clumped up, sticky blood. Uh, sticky blood, uh, you know, clot, blood that's going to clot. This is a heavy fungal load. This is also what blood looks like in stage four cancer. And after one hour, you see perfectly formed red blood cells. This is from a 36 patient study, uh, free, totally free flowing and, and oxygenated. Uh, the before, that's hypoxia. You know, that's your desaturation of the high oxygen levels in the blood. Everything's stuck together, clumping, uh, clotting type blood. And afterwards, you see totally free-flowing, ox fully oxygenated blood that can carry the oxygen to the brain, the organs, and free-flowing for your microcirculation, uh, all that kind of stuff. So this is typical before and after. Now, these are some others that are not as typical, but these are before and after one hour in just a four unit system. Uh, the one on the bottom is called the corona effect. And you see this with some of the blood studies with the corona virus. Um, so, you, and afterwards in one hour, you see perfectly formed cells versus they were all damaged. So that's true cellular regeneration. One at the top was a heavy viral load also, and you see where that's broken up and, and being released. This is an example of a three-year-old boy with sickle cell anemia. You see clear case of the sickle cells, which creates the clumping. It's, it blocks the blood flow to the organs, extraordinarily painful, excruciating because the organs start dying and shutting down. And so they treat it with chemo drugs and, and uh, um you know, painkillers and things, but this is before and after 45 minutes in an eight unit system, you see no, there's no longer sickle cell there uh -huh. at all. And it's fully oxygenated, free flowing blood, never had another attack or episode. Uh, cellular absorption rates, 100% improvement in one hour with a, a, with a test that had never, ever had re improvement of numbers, no matter what anybody did, 100% of people showed increased cellular absorption rates. So that's... Um, Dr. Michael, we need to speed it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we have two more speakers coming. <laughs> yes, that's why. Uh, and rather than AI, we want angelic intelligence or the birth of bioactive techno-intelligence, awakening the holographic human. Lily Botch just wrote some of her white papers. That's on the research page. But she wrote this book and the chapter eight is absolutely brilliant about our technology. Uh, initial clinical studies, 2001, with uh, John Hopkins trained oncologists and saw all these results, healed of blindness, diabetes, cataract, stress, people had somebody 100% blind that had full vision back in less than two months. Uh, it's another example of an eight unit system in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, Increase uh, complete healings after a half hour, 85 to 90 percent experience a deep sense of love, relaxation, expanded awareness, tingling, increased libido. Why were 90 percent of our systems in private homes around the bed? Everything worked perfectly. 
um, came out feeling very happy. That was that antidepressant effect that had never happened in the oncology office. What I want to point out here is a spinal cord injury. Had somebody with severed spinal cord back to full function. Would have been paraplegic for life. It was the, was the medical diagnosis. And this is with the you know, Houston Memorial Hospital system and had full function in less than two months. And these were all, a lot of the things I saw. Heart ejection fraction going from 11% up to 70%. We've had people taken off, uh, taken off um, the um, heart transplant list, et cetera. Taste, smell, and vision. <laughs> that might be handy with this COVID, long COVID stuff. Autism, little girl having eight to 10 grand mal seizures per day. This is published in the Journal of Neurology Research. She had her first seizure free. This was a clear case of vaccine damage and autism. Now it was published as mitigation of seizure disorder because if they, if they said autism or vaccine damage, it would never have been published. So she had her first seizure free day after a third one hour session in an eight unit system at University of Hawaii Medical School. So this is a peer reviewed published study on reversal of autism. This little boy, six years old, um, his mother is the largest crystal dealer on the planet. This is McCall Mail. That's an amethyst crystal that they're geode that they're in. This little boy at six years old had literally had every treatment for autism and therapy for autism on the planet. And he was nonverbal when he came to us after doing the scalar slumber party. Uh, the first thing they know is he slept through the night for the first time ever, slept through the entire night, first time yeah. ever in his life. I think uh, we can check him. all these testimonies from your website, right? Do we have? They're, they're we not have... really there because we oh. can't we can't publish them. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so uh, he could focus. One week later, she put him on the phone with me. He sang his entire ABCs to me. We do have a project for... Um, we do have a project for doing autism centers. This gentleman, stage four cancer, of course, we cannot talk about total reversal, but the gentleman was sent home to die to hospice in April, was given till May at the latest. You can see what he looked like. Well, six months, his wife goes, well, there's nothing more the doctors can do. Let's take you to doc this Dr. Shindani you know, in Hawaii, in Honolulu, she took him to the eight unit system there. This is him six months later. Look at what I can talk about is look at the improvement to his hair. We, we see a lot of hair regeneration. It's great for growing hair. Uh, but he's also, it's been years now and he's still, he's still doing great, doing great. I just, I was just there in Hawaii. I just landed back was just there with Dr. Shintani. Vision improvement from 2,800 to 2,400, from blind to seeing, and then that improved to 2060 with um, corrected to 2020 vision. Vision improvement we see a lot. Uh, this is uh, retinal uh, hemorrhaging, um, and, and it totally reversed. There would have been a blind spot, no, no blind spot, no nothing. This is what the EE cube looks like extraordinarily rapid post-surgical healing. People no longer needing their antidepressants. This is another doctor said results, quite frankly, miraculous. This is the baby system. This is a double cube, one on top of the other, but it's the baby system. It's four units inside, precisely aligned, and it's a photon fountain. So you don't have the fusion, the photonic fusion, but you have the photon fountain. But we are seeing total miracles uh, I, I, you know, we have somebody whose knees totally regenerated, a veteran whose knees were bone on bone, cartilage gone. He now squats 475 pounds, never did a, a surgery because he realized in the first week of being around a cube, all of his pain was gone. Uh, Dr. Dream, um, you know, had a double stroke. Uh, he came to, I said, come to our system. This is a 16 unit system. You see him in there. It took him after his double stroke. Uh, he could not stand up at all. Could not stand. It took us about 40, 45 minutes just to get him in with a walker and two people helping him. And after two hours, he walked unassisted, no walker, completely not touching anything 100 feet each way after just two hours of not being able to stand up. So he put it in his, that's his cube in his sanctuary on wheels that has him walking extended without a walker, came 27 days after his double stroke. 
Uh, this was triple three strokes. Uh, Marine reconnaissance general, 77 years old, again, was sent to hospice by the VA. I had him carried in to a 12 unit system that had total paralysis, both sides of his body, no bowel control, no bladder control. At one point, he couldn't even close his eyes or open them. They were, they were paralyzed too. Uh, third degree uh, lesions over his whole body, burns. Uh, they brought him four hours a day. And this is him 10 days later. Wow. And he was able to go into, there's still some paralysis in the left arm, but he was able to be totally self-sufficient and um, yeah, back to life. And That's got amazing. To, well got to done. fulfill his, he got to fulfill his, the things he wanted to complete in his life. And, and then he wasn't with the technology, ended up passing sometime in his eighties, but you know, eight years later, 10 years later, almost. Okay, uh, so veterans. For the Love of Our Vets is a chapter in a book, Promise for Veterans, Mental and Other Health Challenges. The pilot study is published on eesystem.com on the research page. Dr. Linda Nadia Hull is a professor of medicine, Princeton professor of medicine, and the book is Journeys to Success, the health edition. But we have um, plans for 1,100 energy wellness centers for veterans with Vet USA. They did just, the head of that USA, Jack, called me up and said, we're ready, be ready. It's ready to rock and roll. So please hold this focus. We need this for our veterans. Um, not just for our wealthy clients. Now, this is a 24-unit system that's in for the Sultan of Abu Dhabi. Beautiful. But and this is that, that system. It's, you can see it's a portal. Everything precisely aligned. But it's, and everybody asks, is it safe for babies, for children? We really want birthing centers. So this is one of my scalar god babies born with the technology. The one on the little girl on the right was a crack baby. She was born addicted to crack. I mean, uh, so I said, get her here as fast as possible because she was having, the, you know, the seizures, the withdrawals. Uh, she was in really, really bad shape. We got her into the system. You watched her whole body just relax, never had another withdrawal. And she is absolutely brilliant now, absolutely precocious and brilliant. So I love my God babies. Wonderful. And, and this is a 16-unit um, Tony Robbins system. Okay. And, and not just for humans, <laughs> you know, the cat on, on in the middle there, he was brought in skin and bones on dialysis and was, couldn't walk, wasn't drinking, wasn't eating. Uh, after the first session, he went back to drinking and eating. And uh, the second time they brought him, he jumped you know, up on the bed in the middle of the bed himself and stayed there. Before that, he couldn't walk. They were, but the woman didn't want to put him down. And he lived another five years and he was 17 when he was brought in on dialysis and IVs. <laughs> Great for animals. They, they get carried in, they walk out is what they always say. And I was just with, he was Father Ernie. Now he's Bishop Ernie who reported the miracles to the Vatican. You see him in his Franciscan habit with a tiger's eye medallion because you have to match your wardrobe. Um, but he reported the miracles. He had witnessed all kinds of crazy miracles with our medallions. And uh, we love miracle, miracles, infinite waves of aloha. I talked about that breathing all the light, letting go of everything else, aloha. The future of health caring is in our hands and we love miracles. And that's why we are the combined unified presence that heals the world. I recommend everybody see unified healing because the, the testimonials and things that we have not been able to put on our website because they would make they, those would be construed as claims, et cetera. We, you, they're, you're getting to put a lot more of that over with on, on the unified healing site. So go to unifiedhealing.com and uh, forward slash uh, locations shows locations. We also have locations on EE system. Uh, there are over 200 centers, I think 77 centers currently operational now. Uh, we've ramped up everything. Uh, this one said 160 centers worldwide. It's over 200 and some now. Um, and some of the testimonials that are on there are great. Um, you know, 
you know, diabetes and different things. Um, so unified healing. And I thank you for letting me share with you. Mahalo. Thank you. You know, well, I'm sorry to rush you, Dr. Michael, because we can't, <laughs> we can't have a video which is uh, more than two hours long, because and then we can't put it on uh, no. the other channels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. That was superb. That's a fantastic presentation. Yeah, I, I, I'm really very blessed, too. I just got a couple of miracle stories. I just want to share this real quick. Uh, I was with somebody whose whose sister was sent to hospice, a friend of mine in Hawaii. And so she left to take care of her sister who was sent to hospice and with congestive heart failure and other issues, uh, I don't, a list. Got her to a 24 unit system, got her a cube. She's doing fantastic, absolutely great. Uh, I had another one, one of our center owners called me and said somebody was came in in a wheelchair, hadn't walked in over 13 years after a two hour session, actually stood up and walked. Wow. One session. Another one, I had a, a, a Uber driver, a retired uh, army, army guy who was lamenting that he had gotten the Moderna shot and, and mm -hmm. he felt it in his heart and he had, he had uh, just experienced having a heart attack the week before we met and he was having palpitations. He was having tachycardia. Anyway, so he got into the system and reported now he wants to station himself at the VA hospital and tell everybody coming in because it totally reversed everything. He's in his 40s and he was sure he was dying. So I just want to share there is hope for people. We're seeing a lot of reversals of the damage. People need this for their, you know, to be able to stay healthy no matter what in this time of extreme exposures. So thank you for that. Hopefully we answered a lot of the questions in our presentation. <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, Press, over to you. I guess we have one or two questions. Time for just two questions because we need to do the other two speaker slots as well. And I, I apologize if I went. Oh, no, don't apologize. It's good for all to know. I mean, it's uh, time for miracles now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I Chris. think probably the first big question that we can ask on this, uh, when they come to your center uh, that I see like all over the United States at this point, uh, what is the cost or what is the amount of time that they need to set aside to come or how do they get into your facility? Yeah, and, and they can go on the website and everybody, we do not control any of the any of the centers at all. But we want it to be very, very affordable for everybody. And, and the high tech and the low tech, these are very cost effective. Affordable. These little buggers really, really work. Miracles with them. Put them wherever there's pain, et cetera. So these are very, that you can find. Um, they're $100 or the bracelets are, I think, $62 the retail. So there's that. Um, but what we did with Unified Healing is an intentionality to bring it to people. And so there's scholarship programs to get it to people for veterans, free healing for vets. Um, but, but we made it that nobody charges more than $60 an hour in that, in that program, no more than $60 an hour. We do recommend people do two hours at a time, although ideally the best is sleeping in it. You know, and that's what you want to do to get the healing because the body repairs and regenerates in the delta and theta brain states. That's where the body does the healing. That's where the brain detoxes. And so you want to go in, say all your prayers, go to your optimal meditational state in seven minutes, and then go to sleep, take your power nap. It's like rebooting a computer or recharging your cell phone. It's going to recharge a lot more efficiently if it's on sleep mode. <laughs> so go to sleep. Wow. Thank you. Excellent. Back to you, Crystal. That was probably okay. the number one question we needed to get out for folks. Thank you. Right. Thanks. I think I think Dr. Michael has answered all your questions anyway. It's so extensively explained <laughs> in detail. Um, um, our James uh, had been to your house. I think he had been oh, using it several times. James, you there, James? Is James, you talk James, about Rink? <laughs> is James Rink here? Our yeah, James Rink is here. I believe yeah. we know each other. 
James, uh, can you speak? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sandra, um, your, your technology is awesome. I went to the, the center down in uh, Tampa about a month ago, and I started I, I started meditating and got like a past life memory back. So thank you. Well done. Yeah. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Remembrance. <laughs> yep. And it will come flooding back, James. <laughs> it's in the cell memory. And besides mm -hmm. the DNA, it's all informational fields, but it's literally in cell memory so and, it's going to bring out a lot of those things for people yeah and we look forward to it's a new book james a sequel to your lone wolf the first book you've written because the, if the memories are coming flooding back <laughs> <laughs> right folks um having no other business we need to adjourn this first session of our 111th physic meeting to the second session where alfred Webry Lembimund and Brian Besco will be speaking. Brian apparently has got great, technology great. working with uh, Dr. Michaels as well. Great for Dr. Alf Alfred's work as well. You know, it relates. Yes. We had him on our International Tribunal for Natural Healing for Crime. Uh, International Tribunal for Natural Justice <laughs> for Crimes Against Humanity. And so I really acknowledge and, and really support him, honor him for all yeah. his work that he's done in that area as well. And that is uh, Sasha Stone's initiative, isn't it? Dr. Yes. Michael. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. He lives here down the road in London. <laughs> when, he's, when he's in London, right now he's in Mexico. <laughs> he's in Mexico right now, yeah. Oh, right. There being no other business, this first session is now adjourned to the second session. Thank you, everyone, for staying you, put. Let's stay on, and uh, we're going to have more to come. I mean, it's fantastic what the speakers are bringing to our platform. Thank you so much, Dr. Michael, for a Thank superb you. presentation. Right. We can stop recording now. <laughs>